Hey guys, I'm Chris Dennison. I'm the editor-in-chief of Dirt Rider Magazine. We're out here in beautiful Southern California playing on dirt bikes and driving a Nissan truck. Andy Wilkins is quite possibly the most interesting man in the world. He's uh, just like any dirt rider reader. He's a full-blooded motorcycle rider, off-road enthusiast. And one thing that makes him unique is he was a Navy SEAL for over 20 years. 17 years old, I enlisted straight out of high school. I spent time at SEAL teams eight and four, uh, deployed globally. And post 9-11, I was fortunate enough to go to SEAL team three and participate in the global war on terrorism. I retired after 25 years of service. My whole family grew up out here riding. Most Californians, they ignore this because they think it's just desert. Yeah. Where in my world, it's the most beautiful landscape, uh, the most diverse train in the United States. Where's the trailer dropping? Up here, we're gonna have a stand of trees on your side of the road. We can drop it and uh, punch west into the El Pasos. As long as I can remember, I've been up here riding, breaking trail. I know this area very well, and it is considered my second home. The ride on the first day, the goal is just to get on the bike as fast as possible. First part of our ride, we're gonna leave Holland Camp, and we're gonna see stuff from rocky uphills to two track, uh, some high speed stuff. It's gonna be fun. We like to cover some ground, and especially with a guy like Andy, he's game for an adventure. We're gonna get to Burrow Schmidt Summit. We're gonna have a cool view westward of the entire valley. It's fun to have a guy that knows the place so intimately, and he knows the history of it, too. You've got the plaque here. And you can see it took him 38 years to dig this tunnel. It's 800 yards from the opening to the other side. You go to these destinations that if you didn't ride motorcycles or get really gnarly in a truck, you would never see these spots. So it's fun to kind of experience some of the history of the high desert that way with a guy who's qualified to speak about it. This is where I grew up, coming up here. And listen, you don't hear anything. Yeah. You know, you come out here, and th this is true freedom. It's just about coming out and riding and enjoying what we have. Riding and being a part of this, it's like being with the Brotherhood still because you're looking out for one another. Why don't we head out towards the Black Hills or something? Yep, it's a good spot. Dirt Riders is a testing magazine. We test everything we touch. Taking the Nissan out, just want to find an environment that is reflective of where the average guy would take it. It's gonna be fun to do that with Andy. He brings a lot of testing knowledge to the trip. I was fortunate enough to get to drive the new Titan. The guy like me that's done so much off-road, high intensity driving. We did um, ramp it up a little bit, see what the vehicle was capable of. Feels good coming through the choppy stuff right here. It handles the off-road with so much comfort that when you get into some of these fire roads and you're like, man, this thing's handling like it was on the street. Splash gas, just lights, mm. clear goggles. Yeah. The sun's going down. Yeah. It's the best time to ride. I love it. I actually do ride better at night. The world is your cone of light. You get out onto the flats, you open it up, and you have fun.
Every time I come out here, it's just, it's the best. Especially when you get a ride with the likes of your closest friend. Always pushing each other to that limit and knowing where your limits are. The riding up here is epic. It always is. The weekend was a complete success. You know, Andy's the kind of guy he's not gonna ask for anything for himself. He spent his whole life in the service of others. And I'm pretty pumped that together with Nissan Dirt Rider, we're kind of able to serve him a little bit. You come out here and everything's better.